Welcome to my new show, The Evil Skeletoys, right here on the Eventainment Channel. I had wanted to be on the Netflix with Kevin Smith, but appears I am now locked into this stupid contract. So, until I can find a way to get out of this, I am looking at Super 7's vintage-style Masters of the Universe, me! It says adult collectible right on it, so if you are a child watching this video, turn it off right now! You are not permitted to be watching! This figure also comes with a little postcard thing, so it kind of looks like the old mini comics that came with the original figures. However, it's just a picture, no book! Do they think we wouldn't notice? The back of the package also has a picture of me doing evil and blasting stuff. It also shows some other action figures and how my waist works. Thunder Punch! Also, as you can see as it spins by, I had the exclusive honor of Grayskull to have this signed by the notorious Alan Oppenheimer. He tried his best to portray me in the original He-Man and the Masters of the Universe cartoon. It turned out all right. Oh, who am I kidding? I have a bit of... What is the word I am looking for? Love? For him? Even though I did not give him permission to play me so poorly? This interview is over! What do you mean this isn't an interview? Okay, so looking at the package here, I guess it's nice. It kind of looks like the old ones. Some explosions and such. It credits me as the evil lord of destruction, which is highly accurate. Now, let's get this thing open and have a look inside. Azeroth Metreon Zinthos! What do you mean I should not have opened it? I don't care about that buffoon's autograph! What the? Why did no one tell me about the camera pivot? Someone fix this! It's cutting off the top of my head! Hello? Is no one looking? That's better! Now was that so hard to do, you insolent fool? Now this majestic figure looks like it has... Oh, I don't know, like... Three points of articulation. It probably moves at his shoulders and head, etc., etc., etc. You can probably move his arm up and down like so. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. There you go. What more could you want? It kind of looks like the old Skeletor figure, but newer. And this figure's head looks more like it came from the cartoon than the old toy. A much better likeness this time around. Face technology has vastly improved in the last 35 years or so. Can we get a close-up? Close-up, please. Closer? Closer? What are you doing? Now you're cutting off my head again. You are so fired! That's better. Now was that so hard, you boob? Now you can see that I come with my Havoc staff, and the purple sword of power, and a half of the sword of power. Much like the original toy, it can connect to the gray half that comes with the he who shall not be named. No, not Voldemort! He-Man, you idiot! Now, look at me and all my glory! Spin, 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 you glorious fool! <laughs> now, here's a closer look at my half of the half of the power sword and He-Man's half of the half of the power sword put together in the hands of my good friend, Mumra. Him and I will have to do an evil team-up later. Or at least get some coffee! It's been ages! I would also be remiss if I did not point out that this vintage-style Mumra is made by Funko, not Super 7, and it does not look like a vintage-style Mumra at all! 
It's more like a vintage knockoff! How about I knock them off? Finally, you should all know that you cannot buy this me figure at the store. You can only find it on websites. So do not look for it at the store, you idiots! Now that you have completed enjoying today's show, enjoy more things on this channel by clicking on other videos, including ones with that me impersonator, Alan Oppenheimer. Don't forget, you will not forget, to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.